Now we can see that the actual data are probably more like uh, second order rather than first order or linear. So let's do a quadratic uh, regression analysis. So to do that, what I'm going to do is kind of trick Excel here. I'm going to move this Y column over, and I'm going to make another column called X squared. What I want to do is make this column equal X times X and fill that down. Just double click on that little square. And now when I do my regression analysis, I will choose X and X squared as the input variables X and Y as the input variables Y. So let's again choose the data tab, data analysis, regression, and for the uh, input Y range, it has what, what I had previously, so I have to fix that. I'll pick the Y values. And for the X range, I'm going to pick both columns, and Excel lets you pick any number of columns at the same time. So we're doing a regression analysis on both of these variables. One of them is X, one of them is X squared, so we'll get a quadratic. The output range, I will put under my quadratic, so I'm going to go down here and OK. And it generates this regression analysis. And notice now there's a y-intercept and two slopes. One for the first one is for the first variable, which was x. The second one is for the second variable, which was x squared. So the equation is y equal the intercept plus this slope times x, x itself plus this slope times x squared. So I can generate an equation for that and plot it. So to plot this curve fit, I'm going to copy these, uh, this, these two cells here just for convenience. And now my x is going to range from 0 to 1. I'm going to put 10 points. So I'm going to fill this down from 0 to 1. And then my y value will be equal the intercept, hit the F4 button to add the dollar signs to fix that, plus the first slope times x. And I need to make that one fixed as well. Plus the second slope, F4, times x squared. So that would be times x times x. And fill that down. So these are the data that I now want to plot. So to plot these data, I go back to the plot, right click on the plot, select data, and I'm going to add a new series. I'm going to call it quadratic fit. My x values are going to be taken from the new columns that I just made. I'll take the x values there and the y values from here. OK. OK again. <clears throat> and Excel plots them, and the default is these ugly green triangles, so I'm going to right click and uh, format data series. I want to turn this into a line. So I turn off the uh, marker, turn on the line, and I can make it a nice color if I want to change the color. And now I have the quadratic fit and the linear fit on the same plot. And the original data, you can see that the quadratic fit passes through the data much better than does the linear, this blue fit. In terms of the correlation coefficient, multiple r, uh, 0.935 for the linear case, 0.997 for the quadratic case. So you see that the uh, correlation coefficient has increased as well, which means that the data fit, uh, the curve fit, fits the data uh, better.